be authentic sincere and honest and allow the book to become your meditation the first thing to be understood is that you have to be authentic to yourself sincere and honest as well but this does not mean that you have to hurt others through your honesty and sincerity also this does not mean that you have to disturb others and also it does not mean that you have to disturb the rules of the game all relationships are just rules of game and most of the time you will have to work and wear masks and false faces as well the only thing to remember is not to become the mask use it if it is good and needed and keep the rules but never become the mask never get identified with it you be like an actor that goes on changing the rules on the screen plays different roles but is not identified with any one of these never get identified with it play it never but at the same time get identified with it this is a great problem particularly in the west for new generation they have heard too much and in the process they have already been seduced by this idea to be sincere and honest sincerity and honesty is good but you do not know how cunning and destructive the mind can be your mind can find your mind can find excuses you can say a truth not because you love truth so much but just to hurt somebody you can use it only as a weapon and if you are using it as a weapon it is not truth instead it is worst than a lie sometimes you can help somebody through a lie and sometimes relationship becomes easy through a lie then use it but do not get identified with it that's the important thing be a good player learn the rules of the game but do not be too adamant about anything remember one thing certainly life is a great complexity you are not alone here there are many related to you be sincere unto yourself by not being false at all know well what you want and for yourself remain that but there are others as well never unnecessarily hurt them and if you need to wear masks wear them and enjoy but you remember but remember they are not your original face you know your original face and yet still you know your capabilities so you can put on a mask face so learn and be capable of taking them off any moment when not necessary remain the master and do not become the slave otherwise your sincerity will become violent i have seen people who are cruel violent aggressive and sadist yet very sincere true and authentic but they are using their authenticity just for their satisfaction they want to make others suffer and their trick is such that you cannot escape them they are true so you cannot say you are bad they are good people 
they are never bad so no one can say to them you are bad they are always good and they do the bad through their goodness you never do that and never take life too seriously nothing is wrong in masks or faces also just as in a drama you use faces on the stage and enjoy and so to the audience but never use or enjoy them in real life it is not more than a drama this does not mean that you have to be dishonest be sincere with yourself and do not get identified with the outer world remember life is great there are many around you related in many invisible ways all of them have created invisible boundaries around never hurt anyone i have heard one smulla nasruddin said when i die i want you all to create a big mausoleum around my grave let there be no walls around it but you make sure you put a gate and a big lock on the gate but put the key in the grave so no one can open the door we have created many invisible boundaries of caste creed religion gender and we do not meet one another in all honesty and sincerity and when you are honest and sincere you can allow the work to become your meditation when you really do your work with honesty and sincerity you can meditate deeply ordinary human mind goes on overlapping when you are meditating it will feel guilty about work and when you are working it will think to go and meditate and so it goes on this overlapping has to be stopped when you meditate meditate only when you work then work alone this way you will find your work will become one day meditation never try to escape in any way from anything work or family or meditation whatsoever comes you get to the core of it enjoy it to the fullest and in that very moment you will convert this act into a meditation there is no need to escape from anywhere remember the escapist mind can become peaceful but it cannot be blissful the peace will be of the cremation ground not a singing and dancing peace that is the trouble peaceful and blissful are two separate things an escapist mind can become peaceful because when you do not work and you avoid every situation where trouble can arise or there is challenge conflict and competition then of course naturally you become peaceful but then that peace is meaningless and not worth having the slightest disturbance and the peace will be no more i would like a peace that is attained amidst flames a peace which is attained in the marketplace and peace that is attained where there is no possibility of attaining it then you attain to integration then there is crystallization in you of course the way is long hard and arduous 
but the shortcut is just an escape. So I would like you to remain wherever you are, go on working as you are working, but get to the core of it. It is like you are on the stage and you have to perform many roles. This is one of them. Remember, choose a fixed time for meditation. Meditate at that time and the remaining time is left for work. Work and meditate. Both are needed. Enjoy it. Be more meditative. You can make anything when it is done totally and join, it becomes meditation. And then it will take at least three months for you to become settled. And then you will see that the harmony has arisen between work and meditation. This is how you live in the world and not let the world be within you. And that is the secret of life eternal. Be in the world, but do not let the world be within you.